Hey, how's it going? Danimal here. Hey, the purpose of this video is to help you build your Texas Prusix. Uh, Texas Prusix are what you use when you're climbing on glaciers and they're attached to your rope so that if you fall into a crevasse, you're able to get yourself out safely. The Texas Prusix has two parts. You've got your harness Prusix and you've got your foot Prusix. The harness Prusix is a length of six millimeter purlon cord that's tied by a double fisherman's knot. Your foot pressing is a little bit more complicated to build. Start with the length that's recommended in the syllabus. When you're done, you're going to have a loop right here, which is going to attach to the rope with your pressing knot, and then two foot loops that are going to go over your feet. We'll show you how to tie those foot loops first. All right, to build your foot loop here, I'm going to put the cord underneath the foot here and come up about a foot on either side, so roughly two feet. So on this upper side, I'm going to put a stopper knot in, which is just an overhand knot. Put it back underneath my foot. And then I'm going to tie above the knot here, I'm going to tie half of a double fisherman's knot. So that just goes around twice. Back inside the loop. Should have four to six inches of tail right here. And it's going to slide down here, and that makes your foot loop. Now this should fit over your climbing boot so that it doesn't cinch down, but it should fit fairly snug. And this is a little bit big. I can just slide this knot down a little bit, tighten it up, just to make it a little smaller. So that's your foot loop. So our next step, we're going to come up from this foot loop, bring this cord up to about two or three inches above my navel, and I'm going to tie a figure eight on a bite right here down about 10 or 11 inches. And then when I'm done, the top of this figure eight loop should come to right about my navel or maybe an inch or two above it. All right, to finish up, we need our second foot loop. So an easy way to do that is to untie your half of double fisherman from the, the first one that you tied. And then just measure that out to where that stopper knot is and tie a second stopper knot in the other strand. So measure these out, make sure that they're the same length. And then you just need to retie your double half double fishermen's on each foot loop and you'll have a full setup. Alright, so when you're done you'll have two foot loops. You have your uh, loop here with your figure eight. It's coming up to about an inch above my navel. Both legs are the same length. I'm all ready to tie this on and climb up the rope. Um, I've got these foot loops set up so that they're going to fit over my climbing boot, but not cut the circulation off. Um, you notice I have a little bit of extra tail here. Talk with your mentor or your instructor about what to do with this. You may not want to cut this off until you've actually pressed it with these to make sure that they're going to fit right. So that's about all there is to Texas Prusix. Stand the fight, get results, go climb.